Today I'm going to be talking about the radial array command and as always let's get straight to the business. If I select the window, go to modify section, choose the array command, make sure that I'm in the radial array command, not in the linear array command. Make sure that group and associate is ticked if you want to group it and not have it as individual items after you have arrayed it. Make sure that the number of items is correct. Let's leave it at 3 for now. Move to second indicates the spacing between each item. I'm going to show that in a minute. I'm going to ignore this box section because I think this is self-explanatory. If you are not happy with the current sensor of rotation, you can change it by, by clicking the place button. Find your preferred sensor of rotation, click it. Type SM to find the sensor of the window. And let's say I want to have 30 degree spacing between the sensors of my windows. If I type 30, press enter, press enter one more time. But let's say you want to change the number of items. You can click it, click the number, type 4, press enter. There are four windows and there is 30 degree spacing between the sensors of the windows. Now, let's explore the move to last option. So, if I click Ctrl Z to undo it, click Ctrl Z to undo it again. So, if I select the window, go to Modify section, choose the Array command, select Move to last option, and Move to last specifies the whole span. I'm going to show that in a second. Find your preferred sensor of rotation. Click it. Type SM to find the sensor of the window. And let's say I want to have all of my windows within 135 degree span. I type 135, press enter, press enter one more time. And let's say I want to change the number of items to 4. I can click it, click the number type for press center so there is 135 degree span between the center of this window and the center of this window thank you for your attention and please subscribe to my channel